Today we're going to show you a few nifty tricks with Microsoft Teams. So sit down, strap on, what? Uh, <laughs> wait, that's a totally different video. <laughs> so sit down, strap in, and let's get to learning. Microsoft Teams is by far one of the powerhouses of a product from Microsoft. It is their fastest growing product with over 13 million daily active users and more than half a million organizations. Now those stats came out a year ago, so those figures I'm sure have been massively surpassed by now. Now in comparison, its biggest competitor, Slack, reported 10 million active users last year. So it seems that Microsoft Teams is by far the fastest growing given its short existence since 2017 and Slack started since uh, 2013. So we're gonna put two minutes on the clock and run through our top tips for your Microsoft Teams. Tip number one, create a channel dedicated to say service notifications Follow at MSF365. MSF? Follow at MSFT365 status on Twitter. And then in Microsoft Teams, add this in so you get notified of any outages with Office 365 that, that you should be aware of. And then this extends to any other business critical services that you use. Add in, say, Xero or Sage, perhaps the CRM package you use. Whatever your business sees as a critical application, add that in. Number two, switch on or switch off external access. This lets you send Microsoft Teams messages and collaborate with other Teams users with other businesses who use Microsoft Teams. So it doesn't have to be your own company. You can specify individual businesses by domain name or you can open it up completely. Now, a word of warning, be careful with this. We opened ours up and we ended up having a Dell account manager hounding us hourly trying to win some business. So just, yeah. Number three, you can send an email to a Teams channel. Just right click, get the email address, why would you need to do that? Well, if you wanna send out any notifications from your CRM systems, customer feedback, new orders, new shipments, you can hook these directly into Microsoft Teams for your team to see really easily. Number four, social media. Create a channel in Teams to create, to track all of your social media channels. You can create it to, you can get it to notify you for any new posts that your company posts, or if you appear in any comments, tags, or, or anything else on your social media channels. And then loosely related to this, you could set up a Google alert to monitor your name or your company's name. This will ping you an email if Google crawls any website, news article, or, or just anything with your name in it. You could then set up an inbox rule on your Outlook or your Gmail to forward this to a Teams channel with the email address. And uh, so if your business name or your name is mentioned anywhere online, your team knows about it. And number five, Microsoft Teams meetings. Really, really cool this. You can meet up on demand or you can set up scheduled meetings. They can be recorded via Microsoft Stream for playback or archiving later on for, for anyone who couldn't attend to view that meeting. Now, a recent uh, preview feature added in live captions within Microsoft Teams, so which this will transcribe anybody speaking on a Teams meeting live. Now, at the moment, it's restricted to US English only, but Imagine a world where you can collaborate with, with teams in different languages with everybody speaking their native language and be understood. Now this video has been transcribed with Microsoft Teams captions. So I will, uh, I'll let you be the judge of that, uh, how accurate it is. But it is a preview feature, of course, so don't forget. That's all for this Two Minute Tuesday. Thanks again for watching. Of course, like the video if you did, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're not already, hit the bell icon to be notified of our future videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you, bye-bye.